This is the Ryobi uh, telescoping scrubber. Now, I don't have it hooked up to hose and everything and try and do a video that way because um, I attempted that and it was really difficult to do by myself in that. So I'll just go over some real quick things here. This is a um, the easy selection here. You just want water, uh, soap and water, none if you're just going to use it as a scrub brush by itself. This is the uh, soap dispenser here. Not a real big one, but it works pretty good when you collect the soap. It does squirt out here. You can adjust this any way. You can do spray, stream. Uh, there's a couple of different options there. This just snaps right on. It comes with a uh, scrub brush head, not a polishing head. The telescoping, you just uh, twist this, scoot it out. The on-off button, when you select it on, it comes on and stays on. And you can see it doesn't rotate really super fast. So it does a really nice, easy scrub. It won't scratch your surfaces, uh, tear things up. It just gets the dirt off, which is what you want to do. I would think for the polisher, you would want it to go a little faster. But here again, it all depends on what you're polishing with it. I like this battery pack. It's watertight to keep the water off your battery when you're using it with a hose and stuff. When I use it with a hose, um, you tend to get some water. It does run down here sometime a little bit. So this protects your battery, which is really cool. It is watertight. Nice handle to hold on to it while you're scrubbing. And it does have a motor overload, so if you scrub too hard and you overload the motor, it'll stop. But it comes back on in a few minutes. So as you can see, this is a pretty nice handy little scrubber. Great for windows, doing your car, whatever you need. And the dog likes it too.